Cigarette is an object produced by wrapping shredded tobacco in paper and consumed by drawing the smoke. This product, which is widely used today, is thought to have been brought to Europe from America by Spanish sailors in the 18th century. Seven million people die every year due to smoking. That is, the cause of one out of every 10 deaths is smoking. According to the World Health Organization, 30% of men and 12% of women die from smoking. Cigarette consumption is the leading cause of preventable and non-communicable diseases and deaths related to these diseases all over the world. There are more than 7,000 chemicals in cigarette smoke, hundreds of them are toxic, and more than 70 are directly carcinogenic. Cadmium used in battery production? Methane gas found in large amounts in swamps, arsenic used in the chemical industry, and known for its toxic effects, nicotine used in pesticide production, carbon monoxide gas responsible for stove and geyser poisoning. Many harmful components such as ammonia used in the paint industry are taken directly into the body with cigarette smoke. Among these toxic chemicals, which cause extremely negative effects on human health, the substance called nicotine, which is used as an insecticide, also has a strong stimulating effect on the nervous system. Due to this feature of nicotine, smokers develop psychic and physical dependence on nicotine over time. Substance abuse is defined by the World Health Organization as the person sees the psychoactive substance he is using as significantly more valuable than other objects and occupations that he previously valued and gives that substance a much higher priority and loss of control over the use of any substance. Nicotine addiction, also known as cigarette addiction, is defined by the World Health Organization as the person regularly consumes one cigarette per day. With the consumption of nicotine, which has stimulating effects on the nervous system, both physical and psychological dependence may occur in the person over time. Addiction, which occurs within months in alcohol use, and within days in drug use, develops within hours with nicotine use. It is extremely important to avoid cigarette consumption, which is directly related to many serious health problems such as cancer, heart attack, stroke, and depression, and to get professional support from specialist units in case of addiction. Cigarette consumption adversely affects all organs of the body, especially the lungs, and can lead to serious health problems associated with many body systems. Secondary cigarette smoke exposure, called cigarette consumption and passive smoking, is directly related to many cancer diseases, especially lung cancer. The risk of dying from any cancer-related disease for a smoker increases seven times, while the risk of death associated with lung cancer increases 12 to 24 times. Cigarette consumption and exposure to cigarette smoke are one of the preventable factors that led to cardiovascular diseases. Carbon monoxide gas, which is found in cigarette smoke and responsible for stove and water heater poisoning, passes from the lungs to the blood. It binds directly to blood cells called hemoglobin. When these cells, which are responsible for carrying oxygen to the tissues, are bound with carbon monoxide gas, they cannot carry oxygen molecules and the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood to the tissues is greatly reduced. As a result, the working load of the heart increases, intravascular blood pressure rises and cardiovascular system diseases develop. Smokers are four times more likely to die from cardiovascular diseases, such as heart attacks, than non-smokers. The most rapidly and most intensely affected organ by cigarette smoke is undoubtedly the lungs. Tar, one of the harmful chemicals in the inhaled smoke, accumulates in the lung tissue and causes destruction in these tissues over time. As a result, respiratory capacity decreases and the risk of serious respiratory system-related diseases such as asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD increases. 
It can be said that the risk of COPD increases by more than 8% as a result of long-term smoking. The nicotine taken into the body with cigarette smoke turns into a different chemical substance called cotton and after it is metabolized. This substance, which is one of the metabolic wastes of the body, is excreted from the body through the urine, but passes through the entire renal system until it is excreted in the urine, and the kidneys and other structures are adversely affected during this time. In addition, the increase in blood pressure caused by smoking can lead to serious damage to the kidneys and even kidney failure in the long term. Cigarette consumption has very harmful effects on mental health as well as on all systems of the body. Depressive symptoms are much more common in people who smoke or are exposed to secondhand smoke and especially the rapid increase and decrease in nicotine levels greatly increases the person's susceptibility to depression. Smoking is one of the important factors leading to type 2 diabetes. Past smokers have a 28% increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes, while this number is much higher for current smokers. Cigarette consumption directly affects all systems of the body and causes many systemic diseases. The decrease in the oxygen-carrying capacity of the blood causes the cells to be deprived of oxygen and increases the susceptibility to many health problems, from heart attack to depression. However, shortly after smoking cessation, the oxygen-carrying capacity of the blood increases and all cells of the body reach sufficient oxygen saturation. Don't forget to like the channel and subscribe.